just named Boba. Why? Well, I'm a pretty big Star Wars fan. It happens to be green, so natural progression in name. What bike is it, like year and model? This is a 2004 Kawasaki Vulcan VN 1500 Classic. A lot to memorize. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your favorite part of the bike? Um, Honestly, I don't know right now. I'm just getting used to this bike. I've only had it for a couple weeks now, so just getting familiar with it still. So, is this your first bike? This is my second bike. What was your first bike? My first bike was an 06 uh, Vulcan 900 Classic, so did a bit of an upgrade. How long did you have that bike for? I've been riding that previous bike for about two and a half years. Um, what made you want to get into biking? Did you have any influences when you were growing up? Uh, when I was growing up, no. It was always an interest of mine, but I just never pulled the trigger on it. It wasn't until a couple years ago, uh, one of my good friends, she got in a relationship with a really extroverted person who kind of adopted me as well and pushed me into taking safety course and getting a bike and here we are today. Yeah. Um, why did you choose like this kind of laid back comfy bike instead of like a sport bike? I found as I was, we've been to quite a few motorcycle shows, stuff like that and just sitting on a lot of different bikes, I found the cruiser styles to be the most comfortable seating position for me. I found sport bikes just were not comfortable leaning over the tank, so um, I like riding a couch. Yeah. <laughs> Would you mind giving us a tour of your bike? Yeah, we definitely can. This is my bike. Like I said, I've only had it a few weeks, so I'm not super familiar with absolutely everything on it. Uh, went for the upgrade from the 900, so similar in styling and that aspect to where I was at before. Uh, some of the big differences, obviously, bigger engine, everything on it is stock, except for a few pieces that have the Kawasaki uh, Fire and Steel brand stuff. I'm pretty sure the bags and all the leather components of the bike are fire and steel and obviously the gauge cluster. Um, other than that, I'm not 100% sure what else is there. I'm still investigating those pieces. But stock exhaust, eventually probably upgrade to Phantom Hines long shots is where I would like to be with it. Um, and then obviously I'd like to get an engine guard and highway pegs just to have a little more comfort. And that's, that's about it. Like what's your preference of riding? Do you prefer being by yourself on a ride, someone on the back or like in a group? Um, I haven't had too much experience with having a passenger, so hard to say with that one yet. So right, right now I do prefer to ride solo as I learn. Um, I do like riding solo just by myself, but as far as groups go, I prefer just a smaller group, having just up to probably about four or five people is where I'm happiest. So you don't want to be in like a big gigantic gang? Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was your favorite experience in like your time of biking so far? Really just riding in general. Yeah. I've just been learning over the last few years and still lots more to learn. But what was your worst moment either on this bike, even though you've had it only for like a few weeks, but or on your other bike? Uh, it probably would have been on my other bike. It would have been the very first time I rode it, actually. I did a solo trip uh, from Cochrane to Okotoks Super High Creek, and as we were going through the trees, there was a nice deer run out right in front of us, so wasn't wasn't super close or anything, but first interaction with wildlife on your first ride can be a little terrifying. 
satisfying. Yeah. All right, Greg, well, thank you for letting me ask you questions, and uh, you can now enjoy this nice day and go for a bit of a ride. All right. <laughs>